think in a strange sort of way Dulwich College chose us um, because I started working um, with Nick Magnus in admissions before the college opened. Um, and I think we were attracted to Dulwich because it was um, a British independent school which was what we, were, what we were used to and sort of what we most identified with, I think. It gives you that flexibility, maybe we had to leave Singapore to you know, reintegrate into, it, into the British schools if you need to, to do that. In so many different ways, in, in a positive ways. Um, I think everything we do is set around, you know, basically the school schedule, um, largely because there's two kids and also Victoria works at the school. Um, but everything we do is, you know, both based around, you know, the school term and the events. Even when, even when the grandparents come to stay, um, they come to stay on the dates when there's something happening at, at Dulwich because they really enjoy coming here. It's always interesting when the, the girls come home from school and they're always um, inspired to do something new that they've heard from a teacher or a special visitor, so things like if we go on holiday, they were both doing a beach cleanup recently when we went on holiday, um, they'll come home and say, oh, I want to try out for the football team, or can I, can I put my name down, I'd like to try out for the production, or whatever it may be. They often come home very excited, um, sort of sharing things that they've learned, um, which, so it, it impacts, I think, all of us all, every day. I'll go on. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, it's both girls, but this one when she was in the school nativity, and I think you played Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> I think your red nose fell off, but you adjusted it with your finger just at the last <laughs> moment. Um, that stood out because it was on the big, big screen, wasn't it, on the back? Yeah. Um, um, and I think with Winnie as well, when she sang a solo in the Christmas concert last year, um, that was very exciting and we were very surprised to hear you come home and say I'm going to sing a solo um, and you loved it, it was really nice seeing, it's really fun seeing them on stage enjoying themselves with their friends. Given you said you'd never go on stage, you, you <laughs> did go on stage. <laughs> so when I was in year five we did a production um, for year fives and um, I played not a big role but um, I played this character um, Dink Dinky Doink and um, it kind of, even though you're not like a big character, it kind of makes you stand out. Why? Because you always get like little lines, but you make it feel like it's a big role. So, and I was really proud of me doing it because, well, you, I didn't want to do it at first, and they um, convinced me to do it, and I enjoyed it a lot. And I missed like, I missed it after it stopped and was finished. I'm really proud of. Me because actually I joined football like not too long ago but I've I've enjoyed it a lot and I'm I want to continue it which I am doing right now um, and there was this one time where um, I was playing against um, another team but it was in this other school mm -hmm. and then um, I kept um, like I make sure that um, the balls weren't going in the goal. So you're the goalie, yeah. aren't you? So what did you do? You did a good job of what? <laughs> Kneeing the ball out. <laughs> that, that was an amazing save. That one. We've even yeah. now got a set of goal posts in, um, at home. In the garden. Which annoys the neighbours. <laughs> The girls are so happy to come in every day, they're excited, they can't wait to get here. There's never a day where they say, oh, I don't want to go to school. Um, and I think they get offered such a variety of experiences. Um, and I think we just feel very lucky that they're in this environment and they are really happy here. If we ask them at the end of the day what you've been doing the day, we don't just get the bland answer stuff <laughs> and things, we actually get an answer about <laughs> real things they've been doing they want to talk about, which is really nice. When Winnie was in nursery, there was a really lovely group of parents and children, and we still get together regularly. And it's interesting, so families that have left Singapore um, and are now living in different places around the world, we still catch up with in holiday time, and often our, our trips back to to Europe in the summer revolve around catching up with various friends that used to live here um, and 
I think the girls are, you know, very much in touch with some friends that have left as well, which is really nice. We've got a WhatsApp group that was started about sort of what, ten years ago. Yeah. Which is still ongoing. <laughs> <laughs> with the name of like the class that you got well, when you was in at that time, Dove. So yeah, just yeah. just keeps going.